What's up? Welcome, welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Can you tell I'm excited to be here? You guys absolutely destroyed the like button. You devastated it. You made it so happy by depressing it. We had over 10,000 likes in last episode, and I was hoping for, honestly, 9,999. We killed it. We got there, and thank you guys, because I am loving this series. I am having so much fun playing Clash of Clans completely free to play. Now, of course, it is a struggle, and it has helped me so far, just in these few episodes, really appreciate the free-to-play player. And I'm only at Town Hall 5, okay? Mass, mass respect to all of you that have played free-to-play to Town Halls 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? Possibly, you guys are out of control, and it is so cool to see. So many players in my social media, in my comments, saying, Galadon, you're nothing, man. I've played to max 12, completely free to play. Just try that one. So, well, with your help, hitting the like button, I will try. So, again, let's go with the social experiment that succeeded so well last time. I'm not going to tell you how many likes we need. I'll just say we need a whole heck of a lot of likes. And please do, because I do want to keep playing this account. I do want to keep... Okay, I tell you what. Even if this series were to end, honestly, I would keep playing this account. There is something about the accomplishment. There is something about this progression. And especially now, I realize that it's super fast at 5, 6, 7, as opposed to 10, 11, 12. You know, no 7-day upgrades and 12 million gold upgrades. Everything is pretty cheap around here, and it's been a lot of fun. But again, that is the way that Clash of Clans kind of reels you in slowly but surely. They start you out with a five minute upgrade and you can put up with an hour or an eight hour upgrade eventually. And then by the time you're at six, seven, eight day upgrades, you're like, eh, it just kind of makes sense. So it's one of those ways that they lull you into this whole idea of, well, this game takes years to max out if you're not paying money. And we're not going to, I am not going to touch the gem button. I'm not going to go to the shop. We are just going to do it free to play. And like I warned you last episode, we are going to go ahead and rush. Now, of course, there's this thing that, and I noticed that this is another little tricky trick that they've done. They make you want to rush to Town Hall 6 for clan games. They make you want to rush to Town Hall 7 for the silver free pass, even if you're free to play. And then you kind of want to rush to Town Hall 8 to get to the, uh, what is he called? The trader, the trader guy over there off to the side of me because he has free stuff from time to time as well. So many different reasons to rush, but I still think there are more reasons not to rush. Let's not press our way too far ahead of ourselves. We're gonna catch up, we're gonna have some epic raids, and we're actually going to play like a new player and learn how to clash all over again. Heck, who knows, maybe I'll actually get better at Town Hall 12 and 13 stuff because of the fact that I've gone back and kind of relearned from the beginning again. Now, I will admit that, yes, at this point, we're still kind of just spamming Barch and not doing a whole lot of strategic work yet. But remember, we just unlocked Wizards and Giants and Balloons. We have many more exciting and complicated troops coming in the future Town Hall levels that we're about to get to. So we will get there, and in fact, in this episode, I am going to not just spam. We will do a little bit of strategic planning and attacking here with some wall breakers and giants and things like that as we start to get into what really is going to be, I think, the most fun. You know, relearning these middle town halls, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are going to be cool. I have so many streams on Facebook Gaming, fb.gg slash realgaladongaming, where viewers show up and say, Galadon, do you ever do any Town Hall 10 strategy or Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 11? And I have to admit that I don't really right now and I kind of feel bad for them and for me because I've forgotten what it's like to play at those Town Hall levels. So let's get there again on our way rushing this account. And uh, okay, so here's one of those strategic style attacks. You know, we're dropping in the giants. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop the wall breakers and fail at the top of the screen as the giant targeted the cannon and the wall breakers died to the mortar. So fundamental fails even early on here, but you know, it's still a lot of fun. And I'm also remembering, and this has been something that I had forgotten about for many, many years, how terrible balloons are at levels like one, two, three. They are awful. They're like those little Japanese floating paper candles. They, they practically do no damage at all. 
not really worth it. You just got to keep upgrading them because eventually they're going to be crazy strong. But for now, just almost completely worthless. In fact, you could see the Max Balloon come in here and just OP destroy everything, right? And again, that's where we're still having that huge advantage of the high level Town Hall players dumping something into our offensive CCs and occasionally the defensive CC and giving us a bit of an advantage against other players that are at our Town Hall level. So mostly just kind of been working my way, trying to get to the good stuff. The Town Halls, I would say, like seven, eight, nine. That's what I'm really looking forward to. And that's why I really hope that you, the viewer, stay engaged with this and enjoy watching this content because I enjoy producing it. And I really want to get up there where we're doing a little more strategy. And to be honest with you, I plan, I'm going to struggle. Okay. There's going to be times where I'm looking at a long upgrade or I'm looking at a difficult strategy that I can't just get quite right because yes, those do exist even at Town Halls 8, 9, 10. So it will be a lot of fun. And again, like I said before, it doesn't matter. We don't need to get 80 gazillion views on the videos. I don't do everything for the views. Honestly, if I get less views, but you guys are liking the video, hitting that like button a lot, then that tells me that there's a core group of players that really want to see this content. And I will continue to put it out for you guys. So there it is. We have at least gotten the walls maxed out. Uh, we've got a ton of elixir left and quite honestly, quite a few upgrades left. So what mostly I was doing was just trying to hit a certain couple of short upgrades that I could get done overnight, then come back in the morning. First thing, I even was actually setting like my alarms on my phone and Alexa and things like that to remind me to log on to check things like that, to make sure that I keep the builders working because otherwise it's just going to take way too long, especially because it, it's the one thing that has annoyed me the most the lack of free builders. I really, really want that fourth builder and get ready. We're gonna get a lot closer because of clan games and because of other achievements and just pushing my way up the trophy ladder slowly but surely and uh, building some awesome defensive bases in coming town hall levels. So here we go again with the wall breakers, with the giants, with the wall breakers failing again and again. The balloons, I don't even know why I'm training balloons to be honest. Uh, the ice wizards, that was great when they were available back during the Christmas season. I realize, of course they are gone now. Um, and I think I also forgot that they target defenses. Uh, I, I completely failed to remember that while I was deploying them. But nonetheless, we have the OP balloon and believe it or not, one of the little paper balloons survived and they're gonna roll through the base and pick up most of the rest of the loot over time and uh, make me feel like a little bit less of a failure. Uh, but it is a lot of fun, again, to have those strong troops, but I'm prepared for bigger challenges and better bases because down here, of course, you still have a lot of these bases where players just didn't really care or they don't know how to play the game. They're not watching videos from Galadon and other amazing content creators talking about different town hall levels. And yes, I do plan on making some more of those videos as the days and weeks progress where I can actually try to help not only myself, but other players just improve on their own strategy at a lower town hall level like 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, I'll need your guys' help. I will be visiting clans that specialize in those town halls as well to hope to pick up some OP strategies and maybe some good base builds because as you may have noticed so far in this series, I've done nothing but build my own bases from scratch and maybe they're not always the best, but I think they look super sweet. I think they look cool. So here we went again, doing a couple of upgrades, but this was it. This was the time that we decided that we had to hurry up and get somebody free for clan games because clan games was running out and I realized, well, okay, I'm close to town hall six. I can probably get there and I'm already in a clan that has maxed out clan games. So why not bite the bullet, rush a little bit, and again, we'll pay for it, but I don't think it's going to be that severe. And this is always my advice, especially at lower town hall levels. It is less painful to rush the lower town hall level you are. Once you get higher and you rush, then it becomes a lot harder to catch up. It's a lot more rating, it's a lot more patience. Down here, I maybe had you know a, a few days worth of upgrades that I had left to do here. You can see there's the list. Not that long, but you know we probably could have done it in maybe a week. Instead, we are going to take that free builder, send him over to the town hall, and get ourselves up to town hall six before 
Plan games ended. Now, of course, I realize that we are a bit behind as far as the whole progress in the live game. If you want to see that, you need to come by a Facebook live stream at fb.gg slash realgaladongaming. Hang out with me, I promise you. I talk to everybody. If you want to ask me a question or just say hi, I am always there streaming just about every single night at 7 p.m. Pacific. So please do stop in, say hi, and let me know you came from YouTube. And if there's a specific account you'd like to see me play, let me know. I'm more than happy to switch over and try something else. In the meantime, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the true hashtag Gallifrey. I'm going to get out there, make the best of rest of your day. Be kind of people, animals, and plants. See you back here again tomorrow. More attacks. <sighs>